balance and proportion, those two words you're going to hear me mention a lot because when it comes to you dressing the best you can given your height, those are the two things you really need to pay attention to. And unfortunately, a lot of guys don't understand how to properly dress for the height that they are. Whether or not they're short, they're average, or they're tall, if you screw up either balance or proportion, you're not going to maximize your aesthetic. So one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that I got my start in style being an image consultant where I would help dudes dress better. And what I quickly learned doing this is that if you can help somebody understand their body and their height and how to dress accordingly, it's amazing how much better they look regardless of what they're actually wearing. And so today I'm going to actually share with you some of the do's and don'ts of dressing your height, whether or not you're short, average, or super tall. Real quick guys, before we get into this video, I do want to just tell you about today's video sponsor. It is the polo shirt that I'm wearing. It is from the company Collars & Co. All right, if that sounds familiar, it's because I've talked about them a bunch or you're a fan of Shark Tank. Mark Cuban invested a million dollars in this business and brand. And that's where I first heard about him. I saw him, I'm like, damn. I watched the episode and I literally went to the website and ordered four because they solve the problem, right? Most polo shirts are way too casual to dress up. They also get all effed up in terms of the collars. And that's the thing that really sets Collars & Co. apart. They are perfect polos in terms of the fabric, in terms of the placket, but they also have perfect dress shirt collars. And they come in four different options. Whether or not you want a button down collar like this one, which I absolutely love, or you want the standard spread or an English spread or even the cutaway. They've got four different collars to choose from. There's a special link down below this video. If you go through there and use my code, you're gonna get an amazing deal on the best polo on the market. In my opinion, you should get a few. You should get white, you should get black, and then one of my other favorites is navy blue. The navy polo, gentlemen, in my opinion, white, black, navy, a must-have. They also have light blue, they've got patterns, they've got a ton of badass perfect polos. And the other thing that I love about these polos, they don't make you look like a little boy. But my mom says I look handsome. Did somebody say handsome? Exactly. Gentlemen, check it out. What do you think of this outfit? So perfect for the springtime, the summer, a nice cool date night or a wedding, right? I went with the light tan suit with the blue collars and co polo. Gentlemen, that's the thing that I love so much about these polos. You can dress them up or you can dress them down. Maybe you want to remove the jacket, right? Get all sexy on the dance floor. You are ready. Gentlemen, if you're ready for the best polo in the business, hit the link down below. Do not wait. Use that discount code to get the best deal on the best polos on the market. Actually, I'm going to throw this sexy beast back on because suits are where I want to start. All right, one of the things you got to understand that when it comes to you being the best dressed you possibly can for your height, the proportion of the suit is critical that you nail. A few things, all right? Number one is the sleeve length, all right? If it's too long, your arms look super short. If it's too short, your arms look super long. You wanna make sure that when you have a dress shirt on, you have half an inch of cuff exposed, all right? You wanna make sure that that suit jacket is coming to about where that little nub on your wrist is when your arms are down, right? Also, when your arms are down, hands at your side, you wanna basically be able to cup and cuff the suit jacket right there. That is the appropriate length. It's also the right proportion, regardless of if you're tall, you're short, or you're average. You wanna be able to grab and cuff the suit. If you've gotta crunch it up, it's wrong. If it's too down here, that's wrong. Right here, arms down, cup, perfect. Now, also, the jacket, wear buttons, proportion and balance, all right? When you're wearing the jacket, it should look like that button is right in the center from the bottom to the top. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the pants. And so I'm actually gonna remove the jacket for this so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Right, you gotta make sure you are wearing your pants at your natural waist, the place where it feels most comfortable, all right? If it's sagging down, you gotta pull them up. If it means going to the tailor or getting side adjuster tabs or wearing a belt, do it. Now, the downside to belts is that it will break your body in half. The problem with belts, honestly, is that it breaks your body in half. Like when you're looking at you, right? You wanna create a visual line from your neck down to your toe. And if you're going and you see a belt, it's basically chopping you in half. And so for me, what I would recommend is go with no belt or some type of side adjustment tabs, right? Now, in terms of the legs, you gotta make sure they are tapered, all right? Because if it's wide at the bottom, it's gonna make you look short, all right? One of the alterations that a lot of guys neglect to get is the tapering down by the ankle. And if you're a short guy, you know this is critical for you to elongate your length and your leg, all right? Also, the crotch, 
of the pants. Where is it, all right? You should be able to reach down and grab your junk. If you're grabbing a bunch of extra fabric, this is wrong. It's also gonna make your legs look super short. You gotta make sure everything is in line and consistent. You also wanna make sure that at your ankle you don't have a bunch of fabric that is pulling or puddling. You also, if you're a tall dude, don't wanna see a lot of ankle because one of the big mistakes a lot of guys make that are tall is having that ankle exposure is actually gonna make you look like your pants are too short, but you also still need to make sure that it's not too long. What is too long? Basically, if your pant leg in the back is coming down and touching your heel, this is too long. Next up, let's talk about color because color, once again, is very important to pay attention to. And the cool thing is that if you're unbalanced in terms of if your legs are a little bit longer or your upper body's short, by playing around with different colors, you can basically offset the disproportion of your body. What I mean by that is you gotta remember, dark colors make things look smaller. And so if you're somebody that has a bigger torso up top, you could wear something dark and offset it with a light pair of pants, a light pair of khakis, a light pair of jeans to really help balance your body. But on the flip side, if you've got a bigger torso or a longer torso up top and short little legs, you could go with dark color down below, dark denim, black or gray, right? And something lighter up top, a light blue or a white. Check it out, here's an example, right? Dark pants, light top, right? It's gonna make my upper body look a lot bigger and my lower body, it's gonna make it look a little bit longer and leaner. Now, the other thing we gotta talk about is monochromatic looks. The dark monochromatic outfit, gentlemen, in my opinion, is something that each and every one of you should try regardless of your height. If you're a short dude, it's gonna make you look taller, more muscular, leaner. If you're a tall dude, it's gonna make you look even better. Just make sure that if you're a tall dude, go with lighter colors to actually make you look a little bit bigger if you are somebody that's super skinny. But basically, the whole idea is that your lower body and your upper body is one shade of a color. It's going to basically make you look balanced, but it's also gonna draw the eye down. Now, the other thing with this outfit is the pants. The pants do have a subtle pinstripe, a vertical stripe. In my opinion, vertical stripes on pants are great for making you look taller, but horizontal stripes in terms of a short is terrible. It's gonna make you look short, it's gonna make you look fat, it's also gonna make you look wide. And so personally, I feel like regardless of your height, dressing in solid colors is always gonna be a better option. Next up, let's talk about fit. All right, fit is honestly one of the other critical aspects, right? Fit, regardless of if you're tall, short, or somewhere in between, fit is gonna make the difference, right? In terms of your pants, they need to fit you. If they're too big, if they're too baggy, it's gonna make you look short and fat. The big baggy oversized sweatshirts or t-shirts, gentlemen, in my opinion, don't really accentuate anything. It is a trend and it's popular and I think it looks best on younger dudes, but if you're a little bit older than like 25 and you're trying to look and max Maximize your aesthetic, you want to go with something that fits you. Next up, we got to talk about shirt length, all right? Because this, once again, is one of the things that can totally screw up your aesthetic. If you're going to be wearing a shirt untucked, you got to make sure it's the proper and appropriate length. This goes for t-shirts, polos, but also button-ups. You want to make sure that it's not coming down lower than midway on your crotch, all right? The whole idea, once again, is about balance and proper proportion. If it's coming down too far and covering your crotch, it makes your upper body look too long and your legs super short. And on the flip side, if your shirt is like super short, right, and you reach up and you can see your midriff, you look like Britney Spears, all right? It's also gonna make your upper body look short and your legs extra long. Remember, proportion is everything. Also, let's talk about sleeve length. If you're wearing a long sleeve shirt and you've got a lot of extra extra fabric bunching around your wrist, you gotta make sure you get it altered because it's gonna make your arms look super short. Also, short sleeve shirt. If that sleeve is coming down, right, and covering your entire bicep and tricep, once again, it's not accentuating your arm. It's making your arm look shorter and your arm thinner. You gotta make sure you get it up to expose the bottom third of your tricep. Your sleeve on a short sleeve shirt should basically cut your upper arm in half, right? And this goes from your elbow to the top of your shoulder, right? If the sleeve's coming up, 
too high and you've got more of the lower portion exposed, it's going to make your arm look a little bit off in terms of proportion. It's also going to make you look like you're wearing sleeves that are too short. The truth is, most of us were not born with off the rack size bodies. And so if you need to go to the tailor to have your clothing adjusted, it's amazing what a few dollars can do in terms of the aesthetic and the proper proportion of your clothing. Bottom line is this, whether or not you're short, you're average, or you're tall, if you dress properly for your height, you are going to look amazing.